Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at HubFit client management. So we're going to be focusing on the client tab here. We're going to be covering client tags, adding clients, adding clients in bulk, bulk actions, and then all the different little options that you see here, such as these and all the actions that you have from within the clients tab. So I'll start off with client tags. You'll see here, you can see the tags you have associated with a client. You can add tags to a client when creating them or you can add them later on. You can also automate it by having them on your onboarding flow. Over here, you'll see you have your tag management. Now what this allows you to do is control all your tags. So if I click on this, you'll see here, you can see all your tags along with how many clients are associated with each tag. To add a tag, you can just do add tag. So if I just click on this, you'll see here I can give a name. So let's just say we have a 120 day program and then you can give it a color. So I'll just give it this color. And just like so we added the tag. You can also edit a tag. So if I just come here and do edit, I can edit the name, I can edit the color and then I can just hit save. If you want to edit a tag for an existing client, you'll see in the drop down here, you'll have an option for edit. And if I click on this, you'll see here you have the client tag option. So if I click on this, I can pick which tags I want for this client. So let's say we want to make this client online and I'll do update and you can see here the tag has been reflected. You can also assign tags to multiple clients at once. So to do that, you can just come here and hover over the client, you'll see a checkbox. You can select all the clients that you want to give the tags to. And then if you have multiple clients selected, you'll see this action button pop up. So if I click on this, there's multiple different bulk actions that you can perform, one of it being assigned tags. So I'll just click on this. So with bulk actions, you'll always see this confirmation here. What this allows you to do is see the clients that will be affected and you'll have to click confirm. And then in this case, I can pick the tags that I want. So let's say we want these to be in-person clients and I'll do assign tags. And then it'll just kick off and assign it to all the clients that we've selected. And here you'll see those tags have been assigned to the client. Over here, you'll see you have the filtering option. Now, the number that you see here is the number of clients that you have associated with that filter. So by default, because there's no filter, this would represent how many total clients you have. But if I go ahead and click on this, and let's say we want to filter by tags. So I can click here and then I can say, let's filter by online. So you can see here we have three clients that have that tag. And then this here is also reflected. So it lets us know that there's three clients under these filtering criteria. There's other filtering options. So if I click on this, I can filter by recent check-in, by recent active, by oldest. You also have the option to filter by team members. So if you want to see all the clients assigned to a specific coach, you can just come here and let's say we have this team member, John, I can filter. Now I'm filtering for both the tag and the team member, but let's remove this here and you'll see, we can see all the team members that is assigned to this coach. And here you'll see an option to toggle between your active or archived clients. So now I'm going to show you how you can add a client. So to add a client, you'll see this add client option. Now the first thing you'll see here is you pick their name, their email, then you can pick the tags that you want to give them. You can pick the questionnaire. So at the moment, I don't have any in my library. You can also pick the onboarding flow. Now, if you have tags in the onboarding flow, you don't have to specify them here as well, since it's just going to use those. You can also decide if you want to add a start and end date. You'll also see an option here to send the client instructions on how to log in. If you check this, box it means once you create the client they will instantly get an email but you can always send this later on now here you'll see an option to add multiple clients so if i go ahead and click on this option so i can list all the clients that i want or i can use a csv file now if you want the format you can see here you can also download a sample. So I've just added some clients just to show you what it would look like. Now I'm adding five clients. I'll go next. Here I can add the options that I'd like when setting up the client. So this is similar when adding individual clients, but you can also do it for bulk clients. So anything here will be added to all the clients. So let's go ahead and say we want to add them to our 120 day program. If we have onboarding flows and questionnaires, we can add those as well. Let's say they all start next week. And let's say they're here for about, I'm just gonna pick a random date and we don't wanna email them their login instructions yet. And I'll just go ahead and do add client. 
and just like that you'll see it's adding and there we go we've just added five clients you can see the clients are here they start in seven days as we've specified and here's a tag that we've picked when we were adding the clients okay now let's just quickly run down through all these different options that you see here so last check-in is just the date they've last checked in the last active is when they were last active so if whenever they open the app or if they do anything on the app and then duration is if you pick a start and end date now these aren't required but if you do you'll be able to see from a visual point when they start if they finish then how far along the program they are so for example this client here he's finished and it says finished this client starts in six days and this current client is on week 10 of 12. now you can always edit the start and end date so i'll show you how you can do that if i go to this drop down, you'll see this edit option. And here you can edit their name, their email, their tags, and you can also edit the start and end date for that client. So I'll quickly run you through all the other options you see in the drop down. If you have team members, you can assign a coach. You'll also see an option for client access. So if I click on this, for example, you'll see here you have a username and a unique code. You can manually send these to your clients or you can click on this button and this button will just send them these login details along with instructions on how to download the app and what they need to do. There's also an option for editing, which we've covered. You can archive a client. So archiving a client will not allow the client to have access to the app and you can also delete a client. And really quick, just to go back to the bulk actions, we've already covered the tags, but I want to show you the other options. So you can assign a coach by bulk. So here, for example, it'll tell us that clients it's affecting. I'll just hit confirm and I'll pick the coach that we want to assign to these four clients and I'll do assign coach. And just like that, you'll see it has added the coach to these four clients. So that is everything when it comes to the client management. You can give tags, you can do some bulk actions, you can add multiple clients at once. You have strong filtering where you can filter with tags and coaches. And you also have a quick overview of all the information you need. If you have questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below.